Hi, hello. If you're here, that probably means you need to learn how to clean the straps on your car seat. These things can get very dirty. Now, this one I've already cleaned. Um, so you can see it's it's pretty decent looking. There's a few spots that didn't come out. Um, but then we got this strap over here. And this guy, this guy here is nasty and yellow and gross. Your infant car seat straps can get dirty for many different reasons. Mine has yellowed from storage. I'm not exactly sure why it went so yellow from sitting in storage for three years. We're not smokers, but judging by these straps, it sure looks like we are. Um, you may also have your straps get dirty from spit up, from things being spilt like juice bottles, uh, food crumbs, little baby teething biscuits, any number of things. Your straps can get dirty and they're going to need to get clean, but it's really simple and easy to do. So let's go ahead and talk about the things you're going to need to clean your car seat straps. So what I found that works really well, and as I showed you the before and after, well, the comparison of my two belts, one that has been cleaned and one that has not been cleaned. Um, I feel like this works pretty well. I'm using an off-brand of the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Uh, I'm sure the Magic Clean Eraser would probably work even better. This one's just like the Dollar General store brand. But I also have a clean dishcloth right here just to help wipe everything down. And then um, you may also want a bowl so that you can rinse out your sponge. I'm really close to my kitchen sink, so I'm just going to be stepping back and forth. But all we're going to do is take this and start turning my car seat sideways. That's just so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take my Magic Clean Eraser that I have dampened with some hot water here. And I'm just going to start scrubbing here on the car seat strap. And all of this will start to come off pretty quickly. You can already start to see on my sponge, it's starting to get really yellow and gross looking. Something you want to keep in mind is that if you decide to use something other than a Magic Clean Eraser, like a regular kitchen sponge, you want to make sure that it is a soft material because you don't want anything to fray your car seat straps because that can really damage your straps and make it unsafe to use for baby. And then I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's all kinds of stuff dripping down here. So I'm going to take my kitchen cloth and I'm just going to wipe it out to keep the base of my car seat clean as I go. Okay, my sponge is looking really nasty, so I'm going to give him a rinse. And you guys can just see that cleans right up, so I'm not going to turn around and transfer it back onto my car seat base. My sponge is now pretty clean, and we can go back to scrubbing. And you can already start to see the difference here. The strap is already starting to lighten up quite a bit from all the yellow junk that was on it. Okay, hey, it's now the next day and my straps are completely dry and fairly clean as you can see by the photo I am inserting here. Um, again, it's not absolutely perfect. If yours are less stained than mine were, I'm sure you can probably get them completely clean. But I'm not upset with this at all. That's much better than it was. And it's a really easy way to clean your car seat straps. It also works for your um, straps here on your buckles. And if you need to clean your car seat buckles, or your hooks if you get spit up on these or food or anything like that you can just take these off and easily wash them um, with the rest of your dishes like just do them in the sink with soap and water um, they're really easy just make sure everything is completely dry before you reassemble because you don't want any fraying to happen on your belt that can um, make your car seat no longer safe for your child so i hope you guys found this video informative and helpful it's a very easy process to get your straps clean not difficult at all so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys need any help with reassembling your graco car seat um, i'll leave a link to that video down below